Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So now the question is, now that this quick strike storm is moving away, what's next? We have a second storm system, and it still looks major, 229 through 3-4. You can see the timeline here. I've listed uh, the Wasatch. Your next snow comes in during that period, 3-2 through 3-4, and then again some snow on 3-5. Tetons are in for a lot of snow, 3-1 through 3-5. Colorado, your next snow, 3-3 through 3-5. The Sierra, this is one of the most interesting points about this, is this storm system is going to snow for like two full straight days as it digs to the south through the Sierra, looking at four to eight feet of accumulation there from Tahoe all the way down to Mammoth. And that snow is 229 all the way into 34. So there's some snow on the front end, the back end, and two solid days worth of accumulation. And then beyond that storm system, the, the jet kind of maintains what I'm calling a conveyor belt orientation from west to east, which is going to bring in a series of small to medium-sized storm systems back to back to back. So I'll show you what that looks like coming up here in this update. Let me take you over to Water Vapor and give you the lay of the land here. Now that we just finished well, the last piece of this, this storm number one is sliding out of Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah. It's moving away. Let me mark it. So the big, uh, the big area of low pressure was up here but it drug a cold front down right here. It drug it right through Colorado and Utah and Wyoming. And it really uh, made for some interesting weather in Colorado with some, uh, with some snow squalls as this thing blew through today. But that's all moving away at this point. And um, so that's, that's now in the, in the rear view as far as I'm concerned. So what's next? Well, this is the next big trough. And this thing is going to slide all the way down with the northern branch and dig all the way down into California before making its move into the interior. And that's going to take, it's going to take a little bit of time. And like I said, it's going to snow for a long time, at least two or three days in California with that heavy amount of, uh, that heavy snowfall, four to eight feet. All right, let me show you the jet uh, forecast here. By the end of day today, that's what it looks like. You can see the trough sliding out of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and then eventually moving out uh, into the into the heartland it's gone then and we got a little bit of high pressure ridging 228 229 here comes that next big storm system digging to the south you can see the trough and this is three two so the key days for the interior states utah idaho wyoming montana colorado three two three 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 four and probably even three five you can see the jet orientation on three three here's three four more energies rotating in um, and here's that conveyor belt setup where the jet just kind of sits west to east and grabs pieces of energy off the Pacific and just guides them in to California, Oregon, Washington, and then they roll into the interior states. So this is an active pattern. Um, put some precip on all this. There's your leftover light snows across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. It's gone by tomorrow morning. We refocus. Here comes the next big storm dropping to the south, digging into California. Look at the Sierra just getting blasted for days on end. And then it sets up this very interesting boundary right along the jet and running across the, the, uh, the Wasatch and the Tetons, Big Sky, and Idaho as well with very heavy accumulation. And then that slides into Colorado. Here comes the main low pulling out. And there's another piece of energy behind it. Here it comes rotating into California. That moves into the interior. And then that's not it. Watch California. The next wave, the next storm system moves in. So it's one right after another um, in this forecast. All right, here are my latest numbers. So rest of today through tomorrow. Leftover snows, very light snows. You can see the, the very light accumulations in Colorado. The big stuff's up in the Pacific Northwest where you can see another one to two feet up there during this time frame, and potentially five to 10 in interior BC. But look at this next period. So this is 229 through 34. A couple things jump right off the page. Obviously the Sierra, um, four to eight feet. Any, I mean, we're basically looking at 100 inches in the, uh, the Tahoe district about 60 down at Mammoth, about 60 up in Shasta. Um, one to two feet, I think that that's, that's gonna be an easy thing to do for the Wasatch. It could end, end up being more. Um, easily two feet for the Tetons could end up being more. In Colorado, most of that's across the western and northwest aspects of the state, western slope, anywhere from probably four to 12 inches there, less in the southern mountains. Um, looking at about one to two feet in Idaho, um, heavy snow through Big Sky. Look at interior BC. So Kicking Horse, Fernie, Red Mountain, Revelstoke, over a foot during this time frame for those areas. And some of that spills over into Sunshine and Marmot Basin. One to two feet for the Pacific Northwest. 
Okay, last time frame right here. So this is 3.5 through 3.7. This is when we start to see those additional small to medium-sized storm systems roll out of California, Oregon, and into the interior. And you could see some moderate snow accumulations during that period through Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Idaho, and California. All right, one last stop up into the northeast. Not much change here. Pretty light snow accumulations. Uh, you'll probably get some rain showers at the ski areas tomorrow. Changes to some light, very, very light snow tomorrow night into, uh, into the morning of the 29th. And then there is a couple of shots of light snow during the first week of March. All right, we'll end on this map for the next 24 to 30, 36 hours. And you can see where all the snow is going to be with our storm departing. The um, the interior states, it's all up in the Pacific Northwest and BC. And then again, everything shifts. And this is going to be a significant period right here at 229 through 34. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.